Welcome back everybody. Today we got another fire at nest here. We're gonna cast us some molten aluminum. These guys are pretty active right now. But yep, we'll go ahead and get the dam of sand around them ready for their destruction. All right, so now that we got our dam of sand around the casting, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the furnace and get ready to pour. So this right here is called dross. Um, it's just all the slag and oxides that sort of float to the surface. Um, so right there, that's mostly just aluminum oxide. So I'm gonna dump it onto the seal over here. Um, but yeah, it's just all the impurities. So you wanna take all that stuff off. I want to get down into the bottom as well just clean up the crucible a little bit anything that doesn't float see a little bit more there oh, cool. so now i'm gonna heat it up a little bit more and then we're pull we're pour. Mm -hmm. Get ready to back up in case this starts getting ugly. I'm taking it slow right now just because I don't know how wet the ground is still. So I don't want to, yeah, it's starting to bubble. So I'm going to back up. All right, back up. Yeah, so the ground's still pretty wet, even though it's been a week with no rain. All right, still got a little bit of aluminum left in this pour. All right, that's all the aluminum for this one. I'm gonna melt up some more and we'll do the second one. again. Yeah, 
and pull. Perfect. So now I'm gonna spread that out. Make the base a little bit more even. A little more flat. It should be perfect. Yeah, so this crucible, or I'm sorry, this furnace is getting a little bit beat up now. Uh, thinking about upgrading soon, so keep an eye out for that. But it looks pretty interesting, all the cracks in the brick. Smiley face. Yeah, the metal's so hot in that portion in the back there that it creates an insulating barrier of steam between the water and the metal, so it floats on it like a hockey cake, hockey, uh, what do you call it? Hockey yeah. puck? Yeah, yeah. One of those air hockey yeah. things. That's the way But once it's cooled down enough, it's still insanely hot right now, um, but it's just uh, not as hot enough to make it that instantly vaporize that steam. I'm gonna start digging. So my strategy is really to just try to dig a big hole next to it and then work my way slowly in towards the casting. Seems to be the best way to go about things. A lot of rocks here. That's the old water pipe that went to the barn. The barn that no longer exists. Probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, there used to be a barn out here. I guess I just barely missed the water line for that. Um, hmm. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm pretty sure we disconnected it from our well, but uh, wanna I don't on? wanna test that. So I'm just gonna work around it. Are you gonna have to dig up the rock too? Yeah. Um, if the rocks are like this one, I'm hoping, actually, the big one right here, hoping that actually it's like sort of fused to the casting because I think it would be pretty cool. But the, all these small ones, they're sort of just blocking the water. I might try to move these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they built an anthill on top of some old concrete that's under the ground here. I think this is part of the foundation for the old barn. Or an older civilization. Yeah, yeah, or or an older civilization. Definitely. Yeah, the concrete's falling apart pretty easily though. So I could do about that one. There's a lot of weight rests on just that one I thought I'd already gotten. So here you can see that layer of concrete that they just straight up went through. 
So this is all concrete right here. It's been in the ground for probably a few, uh, years, yeah, yeah, probably about 15 years already. So it's pretty crumbly concrete at this point, but they still just dug through it. And then, so do we. Hope this casting earned you guys a subscription. It's pretty neat. Here's that concrete layer right there. Big rock. Can't believe they just went straight through that concrete like that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.